welcome to Are You Ready with your Bible teacher, Carlos Corlo. What's happening in the world? Let's look at the Bible. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready? I pray you're having a very blessed evening. The Lord Jesus loves you. Let's have a little water here. Salud. We have something very tragic has occurred in Kabul. It's done several uh, videos, but this is really, really bad for the United States and for many other people. Right now, I want, before we begin, we're going to pray, and we're going to pray for comfort and peace for all these soldiers that I'm about to tell you they died. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you, we praise you, we adore you. Right now, Lord, we ask for comfort and peace for the parents, for the for the relatives and family members and friends of the soldiers and servicemen who died. We pray for comfort and peace right now for them. In Jesus, my name, direct everything I say in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're watching, are you ready? Please subscribe and click notification. Here we go. Kabul airport attack kills 12 U.S. service members, at least 90 Afghans. Let's read here. More than 100 people were killed, including at least 12 U.S. service members and 90 Afghan at the Kabul uh, airport, and it happened at the Abbey Gate. We'll read that uh, where when two blasts ripped it ripped through the crowds trying to enter the American control facility, disrupting the final push of the U.S. evacuation efforts. A suicide bomb attack at the airport's Abbey Gate, followed by an assault by gunmen officials, and also happened at the Barone Hotel, ladies and gentlemen. Really bad. Twelve U.S. Uh, servicemen. Please keep them, their families, in prayer. Let's let's watch this video right here. Let's go. Threats outside the gates of Kabul airport. We are advising U.S. citizens to avoid traveling to the airport and it's to one week ago. gates at this time. The warning continues. U.S. citizens who are at the Abbey Gate, East Gate, or North Gate now should leave immediately. Just so they got a warning before this a week ago not to come. Remember, they're trying to escape. <laughs> Get out of the Taliban is about to take taking over the whole entire Afghanistan. Watch this. We have just learned from the Pentagon. This is their statement. We can confirm that a number of U.S. service members were killed at the Kabul airport. A number of others are being treated for wounds. A number of Afghans fell victim to this heinous attack. You're looking at the very difficult pictures coming in from the scene. And we warn you, many of these images are graphic. A suspected suicide bomber detonating near the Abbey Gate at the airport. That's one of the main entrances of the airport. Again, the Pentagon just moments ago reporting a number of U.S. service members were killed at the Kabul airport. That area, of course, packed with Afghan people. Now, we know already that there was about 12 U.S. servicemen, 90 Afghans, and over 150 people were injured. Now, let's hear from the president, Mr. Biden, here. The service of liberty, the service of security, the service of others service of America, like their fellow brothers and sisters in arms who died defending our vision and our values, the struggle against terrorism, the fall on this day, they're part of a great noble company of American heroes. To those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. I will defend our interests and our people with every measure at my command. Over the past few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, why did this happen? We opened doors. Uh, we got to pray that, that he has to be sterner and they don't believe he is. But let me read you this in Psalm 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, life is brief. You better know where you're living. If you're living for Jesus, live for him right now. Give your life to Jesus. 